Hello, welcome once again to another beautiful edition, still on the episode of Nouns. I want to still ask you again to kindly subscribe to our YouTube channels. The essence of it is that whenever you do so, there would also be a kind of notification you will keep receiving each time we have a new video. Please don't always get scared of subscribing. It doesn't cost money. Follow us on Facebook and then like our page on Eze Ayola English Language Class. That's the name for our YouTube channel as well as the Facebook. Thank you very much. We are looking at, still on the episode of the nouns, we want to look at the grammatical functions of the nouns grammatical functions the nouns have a kind of role which they play in sentences so that's the aspect we are of course going to look into today now when we talk about these roles these roles are talking about the functions the nouns play the roles they play in sentences that's what we mean by talking about the grammatical functions. Now, the first role or function is the subject of the verbs. That's one of the functions. Subject of the verbs. The nouns play, play roles such as subjects of verbs. They also perform the function of the objects of the verbs as well as the complement of the verbs. As we talk about the first one from the board, subjects of the verbs. What are we talking about? What do we mean? What do we want to say there? All right, we need to explain the meaning of subject. Now, subject of the verbs or the subject of sentences means the main thing it could be thing it could be idea it could be person it could be concept it could be animal whatever you may be talking about in a sentence that's the subject now we can also look at the subject of sentences as uh, depending although depending in on the, the construction, the structural arrangement of the sentence. We can also look at it as the doer or performer of action in sentences. Example, when we have an expression such as Obi did a very Good job. And then we underline the word Obi. Obi did a very good job. Now, from the expression on the board, Obi is the subject of the verb did. We have Obi here, which is a name. Name of a person. Of course, nouns are names. And this is the name of an individual, Obi. That's the man or the boy, as the case may be, we are talking about in this sentence. The particular individual we are talking about in this sentence. Obi is a noun, and then it is an example of a proper noun, like we did in our last episode. Now, he is the subject of the verb did. Doer of an action. He did something. That's why we also defined it as the words, the performer of action. Doers of action in sentences. So, Obi did an action here. So, the function of the noun Obi here is that it is the subject of the verb did. Another example, the lion killed 
the dangerous snake. This, this is another example. What are we talking about here? The lion. This is a noun. Of course, this is what we call determiner in English language. But we are not trying to bring the two words. If we do, we shall have what we call noun phrase. But we are not talking about the phrase this time. Let's concentrate on the noun as a single word. So, we have lion killed the dangerous snake. This is the subject of the sentence. Of course, a noun, name of an animal. And then, subject of the verb, killed. We said one of the functions is that they are subject of verbs. So, this is a noun here playing the role of subject. Subject of the verb killed. The function of the nouns, which is the second one from what we have on the board, objects of the verbs. The nouns also play the role of objects. Objects of the verbs. We defined the subject as performers or doers of action in sentences. Now, listen very well. If the subject of a sentence is the doer of an action, the object is the receiver. The subject performs the action. The object suffers the action. When the subject performs the action, the object receives the action. Now, we can arrange a sentence example for us to understand what we mean. Now, we have an example like this. The man arrested the boy. We have two people here. First and foremost, the man. We have the boy. Of course, this is the verb that, that portrays action in the sentence. Now, but this person, the man, is the subject. Remember, we are not talking about phrase for today. So, we shall make use of man alone as the noun here. The noun as a single word, man arrested boy. Let's also remove the here and the half boy as single words. Now, somebody here, man, did something. He performed an action. What action? Action of arresting somebody else. And who was arrested? Boy. So to say, man did an action. He performed an action. That's the subject. Subjects of sentences are those words that perform action in sentences. But somebody also suffered the action. And who was that? Boy, of course. That's the object. So the boy here is a noun playing the role or rather functioning as the object of the verb. Which verb? Arrested. Boy, noun. What function? Object. Of the verb, ar uh, arrested. Is the verb. So, this noun here, boy, is playing the function of object in this sentence Object of the verb arrested. That's the second grammatical function of the noun. We shall look at the last one, which is as we talk about the complement, what is the complement of a sentence? Or what do we mean 
or what are we expected to understand about compliment? Now for the compliment, in my own explanation, the compliment can be seen as a kind of further reference or further emphasis, further analysis made on the subject of a sentence. A reference made on the subject of a sentence. Example, in sentences like this, my father is a pastor. Now, my father is the subject of the sentence. And like I said, for the compliment, it has to do with further reference or analysis made on the subject of the sentence. This is a subject here. And this is also a noun. Common noun. The name pastor. Name of a person. All right? So, it is a common noun. And we want to see the role, the function that it plays in this particular sentence. And because of the arrangement of this expression, this is playing the role of complement of the verb is. So we look at this as noun, which is a complement of the verb is. This is the verb here. So this is the subject of curse, subject of the sentence. And this is the verb, and this is the complement. So, what is the role of this noun? It is functioning as a complement to the verb is. So, we've actually come to the end of today's episode on the nouns. Remember to do well to subscribe to our YouTube channels so that you will get notification each time we have a new video. Follow us on Facebook and like our page on as a Ayola English language class. Thank you very much. Hey there, subscribe to my channel and also press this bell icon.